Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about setting your cycle range. So this is something I'm sure you can already do. You know, you set your locators manually by moving them on the ruler or more likely you probably use the greatest keyboard shortcut in the entire universe, which is P. So if you select anything, you hit P, you can see the locators are set around it. That's a wonderful thing. I use it, not constantly, but you know, quite a lot. However, there's another way to do this, which I find quite useful in some particular circumstances. And it's a preference that you have to set before it will work. So you go up to preferences, which is under file on Windows and under Cubase on the Mac, go to preferences, go to editing, and then tick this box here, cycle follows range selection. Hit OK. And what you'll notice is if you use the range selection tool, then your cycle will be set automatically to the range that you've selected. So there you can see I've set between bar 31 and 33 really easily. Now, obviously, this is mostly useful when you're selecting things which aren't entire parts, because obviously, if you wanted to set it to this, you would just select this part and hit P and be done. But if you've got a long take or you've got something where you want to be really precise about setting it while you're trying to loop, etc., this can be really useful. If you use it with the combined selection and range selection tool, which is probably the mode I use, modes I use most for this because I find that doing one or the other is a bit uh, a bit awkward. So the top half, as we've seen before, is now range selection. The bottom half is normal arrow mode. There are some times when that gets in the way, but most of the time that's pretty useful. And there you can see we can set that really easily and then I can still move my parts around and so on and do that. And you can even do this on empty space, which is quite nice. So you don't have to do it on a part. You can do it wherever. If you've got a big screen, my main DOW is a 4K screen, 100%. So that's actually a lot of mouse mileage to go all the way up to the top of the screen. It's much easier to just do this and set that. But again, it's one of those things where you need to be sort of a, just a little bit more precise with your movement. In fact, on my main DOW, I've got the preference set to a keyboard shortcut so I can turn it on and off if I want to, because I don't want it on all the time, but also I don't want the extra mileage of going all the way to the preferences pane because I'm such a prima donna. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. And if you have, please like, subscribe. Um, I don't know. What other things can you do? That'd be nice. I'll oh, just, just say hello in the comments. Anyway, uh, we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.